Don't hotfix my code! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! A company loses commission on one thousands of sales. Preamble. So this is a story shared to me. With permission to share. By a work colleague that I have recently reacquainted with. I will be writing this as if it was me in the situation. As that is how he told it. And I think it will read better too. Background. I worked as a developer for a company that built and managed the software behind a rapidly growing online e-commerce store that sells tech gadgets and accessories, which I will refer to as Megastore for this story. In a Central African country, the Megastore started off small, and my boss built the original website on risk for a cut of the commission that Megastore earned. Side note as it is important later. The commission that Megastore gained from the sale of an item on the site would be split on purchase. The majority of the commission would be paid directly into Megastore's bank account and a smaller portion would be paid into my boss's bank account. As the popularity of Megastore grew, so did the demands on my boss. And he was able to build a company around servicing Megastore. While he did try to grow his client base, none were the same size or scope as Megastore and thus were not able to carry the company. Megastore was approached for a buyout by a company. We can call them Bad Company Inc. with their own internal development team. Part of the buyout deal included ending the revenue sharing arrangement with my boss, an external development company. At the beginning of the process, everything was very positive, as my boss arranged a big payday and the deal was signed. He had managed to get this great deal because he had positioned that this buyout would kill his company and thus he and all his staff needed to be compensated. The buyout took several months and by the end, the relationship between Bad Company Inc. and my boss had completely broken down. My boss had managed to secure another large client and thus didn't need to close his company. Because of this, Bad Company Inc. said that they didn't need to pay my boss a payout. A lot of these meetings were above my pay grade. The setup. So we are in the final days of handing over the entire site to Bad Company Inc. and their internal CTO, Dick Dev, who had complete hatred for the code that ran Megastore, as it was a bastardized version of an open source platform. He considered himself a purist and if the code wasn't custom built for the purpose it wasn't worth anything. So back to my boss. He had managed to keep some version of the original deal in place. But in the preceding weeks, he had made a big threat to Bad Company Inc. that he would do something funny with the code that handled the commission split. It was very much a threat and blowing off steam, as he couldn't legally do it nor was it actually in his nature to do it. All talk, no bite. However, this outburst did create a situation where, Dick Dev, did not trust us to remove our code that handled the commission in our favor. So on the final build that we are required to hand over, we were meant to remove all code that handled the commission and, Dick Dev, would implement new code to handle the commission and then deploy it to the live website instead of us. The official documentation was reworded from the supply and deploy handover version to just the supply handover version. Great less work for us. D-Day. So D-Day arrived. We had actually completed the build a few days earlier with commission sharing code completely removed and were just sitting on this version so we could hand it over on the day, as contractually required to do so. So we handed it over in the morning and were all planning to head out for a long lunch. Just before we left, we checked Megastore for the last time and noticed that Dick Dev had already deployed the handed over version. Puzzled as we assumed that any development on the commission code would require extensive testing 
We logged into the site and saw that no code for handling the commission in any fashion was there. Nowhere. There was nothing. We logged into the payment gateway. And there were no logs there either. This meant no commission was being deducted at all. So Megastore was losing 100% of their revenue. We immediately reached out to Dick Dev via multiple calls, which he rejected until he eventually answered and yelled that he was busy and that we should stop calling him, followed by him hanging up the phone. So my boss, concerned that this somehow would be thrown back into his face as the funny thing he threatened to do, instructed us to do a hotfix and deploy it to the server without the dick dev's approval, which we did. It was a messy fix. Using the old code, we put all the money into the Megastore account and only one cent into my boss's account, as something had to be deducted for the code to work. Ten minutes after deploying the hotfix, Dick Dev called accusing my boss of stealing. Many heated words were shared, followed by my boss putting Dick Dev on speaker and instructing all of us to quickly record the conversation on our phones. Dick Dev informed us that he had already implemented the code, as he had noticed the completed build two days earlier. We tried to tell him that something was wrong, and he just replied that we were too simple-minded to understand custom code, as we were just simple web admins, nothing more, and that we had 30 minutes to remove the hotfix code. My boss got him to repeat the instructions one more time, and state that we had supplied a build that satisfied the conditions of the agreement, and then hung up on him. As soon as he had uttered those words, it took five minutes to revert the code. We then were instructed to all go to the lunch venue and leave our phones in our cars. Aftermath. Because, D-Day, was an end-of-the-month kind of deal. It happened to land on a Friday. So the loss of income was only reflected in the bank on the Monday or Tuesday of the following week. This meant the problem was only picked up after running commission-free for three to four days. My boss is aware of the amount of money lost, but we are not. However, we assumed it to cost the company the commission on between 1,000 to 4,000 individual sales. The CTO did supposedly tried to spin a story that our boss had tried to do something funny and all. My boss did was provide the recordings of their conversation which shut that shish t down. My boss got his payout. All the staff got a great bonus. And we noticed that Dick Dev's LinkedIn status changed a few weeks later. To seeking broader challenges. Edit. Border typo. You guys asked him to repeat it twice. After the first time I'd have questioned it and looked at it myself. Like damn. And if the code wasn't custom built for the purpose it wasn't worth anything. This is pure insanity. Reinvent the wheel every time. Quote. And if the code wasn't custom built for the purpose it wasn't worth anything. Save us from the twin dangers of not invented here and my shiny toy does it all. That was an entertaining read. Thanks for sharing. Seeking broader challenges or border challenges. Where was the money going? Was it not being charged at all? I like that it also involved one of my prime directives. Never deploy on a Friday. I used to not want to ask for help due to being too prideful but I've never understood when someone actively rejects help. I would take it because they probably know something that I'm overlooking or don't know about. He considered himself a purist and if the code wasn't custom built for the purpose it wasn't worth anything. I hate him already. One of the real-world rules of anything. I mean anything is not to cut over a project on Friday. If bad things can happen that's when they will happen. 
among the industries of worked in and their specific rules. Telephony. Never cut over to a new telephone switch on a Friday. Manufacturing. Never start the new production line on Friday. Radio. Never turn over a new radio system to your customer on Friday. Industrial controls. Never install a new device on Friday. By the way, never say the word, quiet, in any service industry or to a first responder on for day either. As in, have a quiet weekend. Yeah. Seeking broader challenges, LinkedIn code word for I got my ass fired big time. Big kudos to your boss for his handling of the whole situation. LOL. Border challenges. I assume you meant, broader challenges. Fancy way of saying they got shit canned by their employer. But I was thinking Dick Dev got assigned to be a border guard or something like that. This goes to show as well. If you actually did have some kind of insurance code in place. Never mention it beforehand. The moment you mention it, you lose any advantage it would give you and you give them a chance to figure out a way around it. Wait until it's needed. Activate it and then mention it after there's nothing the other side can do about it. Pretty much goes for any kind of the moment you use. Because D-Day was an end of the month kind of deal. It happened to land on a Friday. Never, under any circumstances, roll out any changes on Friday. Lol. That was a good ride. It means he had to flee over the border to escape the wrath to come from the loss of revenue. Oh, man. My favorite response to anybody with authority over me asking me to do some dumb shit is always, sir. Could you send me this over email so you can have something to reference? Quote. Hash don't mess with IT professionals. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Everyone should learn this lesson. You can't start a story with, so this is a story. Because now I have the fresh prince of. Bel Air theme stuck in my head. I love it when people over software have no idea, s. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.